Welcome to the IT free training video on installing Remote Server Administration Tools or RSAT on Windows 8. In later videos, we will use RSAT configure servers on the network. Remote Server Administration Tools are all the server administration tools that are available on the server or client operating system. In other words, you can administer a server from your workstation using the same tools that are available when you are sitting in front of the server using the keyboard and mouse. RSAT is available on different operating systems like Windows Vista and Windows 7. However, in this video, I will be looking at how to install RSAT on Windows 8. Without further ado, I will change to my Windows 8 computer. To install remote server administration tools on Windows 8, I first need to download it from Microsoft. The address is quite long and difficult to remember, so it is easiest to search for RSAT and the operating system you want in Google. In this case, Windows 8. It is important to download the correct version for your operating system as the software is very operating system specific. In the description of this video is a link for the download if you have trouble finding it. On the download page, the next step is to select the download, either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. RSAT is very operating system specific and architecture specific, so make sure you download the correct one. In this case, I will download the 64-bit version and save it to the desktop. The install is quite easy. All I need to do is run the executable and press Yes to install the update when prompted. The process of installing takes about five minutes to complete on this computer, so I will pause the video and return once it is complete. Once the install is complete, if I open the Start menu, I can see that two new shortcuts are added. These are Administrative Tools and Server Manager, both of which I will right-click on the icons and select the option at the bottom, Pin to Taskbar, since these shortcuts will be used a lot. Once I exit the Start menu, I can see the two administrative shortcuts have been added to the taskbar. If I open Administrative Tools, you can see shortcuts for all the common administrative tools that, if you use Windows Server 2008, you would be used to seeing. If I select one, in this case Services, this will open a solo admin tool that can be used to control the services running on the local computer. If you have used previous versions of remote server administration tools, you may remember having to go into the control panel and enabling the tools that you wanted to use. In the Windows 8 version, all administrative tools are enabled by default and there is no need to enable anything in the control panel. With Windows Server 2012, Microsoft has done a lot to allow the administrator to configure any server from any location. If I close out of here and open Server Manager, you will notice that I can configure any server on the network the same way as if I were running Server Manager on the local computer itself. Inside Server Manager, you will notice that it currently lists zero servers under All Servers. Before I can start configuration of any servers on the network, I first need to add some to servers. To do this, select All Servers, right click, and then select the option Add Servers. You can type in the name of the server you want to add, but in this case I will press the button Find Now and add all the servers that it finds. It should be pointed out that the server manager also displays a workstation here running Windows 8. In fact, the very workstation that I am using. If I add this with the other two servers, Server Manager will work out that it is not a server and it will not be added. You will notice that once the servers have been added, Server Manager will attempt to contact these servers and find out more information about them. Once this is complete, additional options on the left side will appear. The options that appear here depend on which roles and features have been installed on the servers that you added. If you have used Server Manager on a physical Windows Server 2012 computer, you will notice that using a workstation, you can perform the same administration functions for a server in the next room or on the other side of the world from your workstation. Thanks for watching this video from IT Free Training. For more videos, please feel free to subscribe. 
Upcoming videos include Windows 8 and Windows Server 2012.